Welcome back, everybody. I believe this is the first YouTube video that I've recorded with my new mic. So, yeah, it probably sounds a little bit different. I've already done some streams with it, but uh, yeah, hopefully it sounds all good. But anyway, we are back with another custom campaign because these things are just flying at us. And this is The Rise of Tamerlane 2 by Bassy. We already did The Rise of Tamerlane uh, Part 1, I guess. So that is on my YouTube channel. I'll probably link that in the description. Hopefully I'll remember to do that. But this is going to be fun. Bassy campaigns, uh, obviously, always really great. Another one of the official designers for Forgotten Empires of the campaigns. He did... Let's see. He did Pachacuti. He did Bari. And... Some other ones I'm forgetting off of the top of my head. Also did a lot of the, the remakes of the, uh, the old AOC campaigns and whatnot. Anywho. Anyway. Oh, now I have to go all the way back over here. Let's do Snakes in the Grass. So unlike Philadelphia, Bassey's campaigns are multiple scenarios. And I would say stylistically he follows much more the... Uh, the precedents, I guess, set by Ensemble, so they feel much more like, quote, like, classic AoE campaigns as opposed to Philadelphia, where you somehow have to play a game of Monopoly to win a game of Age of Empires. <laughs> um, so yeah, Snakes in the Grass. Despite his ambition and the broadness of the stage on which he sought to make his mark, the titles of Timur gained, had gained after defeating Amir Hussein, though magnificent, were deceptive. In 1371, Timur, Timur was neither emperor of the age nor conqueror of the world, but merely the ruler of a rather small swath of Central Asia that was beset on all sides by hostile forces and allies that could not be trusted. White Horde, Samarkand, Kutalani, Apardi, uh, yeah. Mindful of Mongol tradition, uh, which he never tired of using to bolster his position, Timur summoned all Transoxianan emirs to a cruel tie, but several important chieftains did not attend the meeting. Among these were the influential emirs Zinda Hasham, head of the Apardi tribe, and Musa Taichud, former ally of Hussein. The Taichuds! I spotted the Taichud village to the north. <laughs> Simultaneously, several Khans were mysteriously murdered en route to congratulate Timur on his victories. Oh, feels bad, man. I remember Hussein was our was our friendo that betrayed us. 1372 AD, of course. You know it's a Bassi campaign when there's a cutscene. The city of Shaburkan, capital of the Apardi. Khwaja Yusuf. Rumor has it that the Emirs Zinda Hasham and Musa Taishia are holding a secret meeting in the city citadel to plan a rebellion <gasps> against Timur. I need to gain access to the Citadel to eavesdrop on the two alleged traitors. <gasps> okay. Let us see what we have to do. We are Tatars now. I seem to remember, I think we were like Turks sometimes, or maybe I'm getting some of Bassi's campaigns mixed up. Bassi has a lot of different, like, uh, Central Asia, you know, Last Khans themed custom campaigns. Uh, okay, find a way to bring uh, Khwaja Yusuf close to the suspicious emirs to eavesdrop on him, and he has to survive, naturally. In the beginning of the scenario, you are not commanding Timur's imperial army, but rather, uh, but a rather small force guarding the borders of the empire. Therefore, you are initially restricted to a pop limit of 100. Once Timur has arrived at the Horde, your pop limit will expand up to 150. As long as Timur is absent, you can build neither castles nor siege workshops and will not be able to advance to the Imperial Age. Before you acquire your own base, your mission is to explore the city of Shabur Khan to find out uh, what the two suspicious emirs, Zinda Hasham and Musa Taichud, uh, are up to. You can chat with civilians to gather information. Simply bring your hero, Khwaja Yusuf, to the, close to the unit you want to talk with and then select it. Oh boy. Uh, neither you nor your rivals are able to build warships, uh, but you can make fishing ships to gather food. Oh man, I'm just getting flashbacks to that one Philadelphia campaign where we had to, uh... <laughs> oh yeah, there was the, the samurai one where we were in Japan and I got stuck 
for so long because it was like an RPG one. And then there was the uh, the murder mystery one, which we kind of failed at. Oh, boy. Uh, one of Tamir's most loyal officers, Olgetu, Ol oh, boy, suspects that the emirs Zinda Hasham and Musa Taichud have allied with to betray Tamur. Therefore, Olgetu has commissioned his son, Khwaja Yusuf, to sneak into the city of Shabar Khan in order to find out what the emirs are planning. Uh, Shabar Khan is a magnificent city and is located in the west of the map. The city is ruled by Zinda Hasham, who commands a large army of mainly mounted archers, pikemen, and light cav. Musa Taichut's estates are located southeast of Shabur Khan. He'll train Mangudai and heavy cavalry. In case uh, Musa Taichut, Taichut succeeds in advancing to the Imperial Age, he may construct Trebs. Uh, the east of the map is controlled by the Kutalani. Uh, this allied tribe is led by K. Kusrao, who assisted Timur in a struggle against Amir Hassan roughly two years ago. Kai Kusan may be willing to support Timur once again. Alrighty. Um... We're a samurai, naturally. All right, all right, tell me what's up. It's hard to get by as a fisherman since all the nomads around here prefer to eat goat meat. Feels bad, man. I dream of going to Samarkand one day. It is said they have the sweetest melons in the world there. That's great, man. You know, nothing to say? Maybe it's just villagers. You need, to, you need to be watchful. Bandits are roaming the alleyways of Shabur Khan. Uh-oh. Bandits are orange. That burns in my throat! Oh. Rip. <laughs> Beautiful, beautiful singing. So, okay, I think, I think those guys are all allied to us. Wait, who are our allies? Uh, everyone's allied right now except the bandits. Uh, Emir Zinda Hasham has raised taxes to recruit more soldiers. I, I'm afraid he plans to wage war. Uh-oh. Do you have anything to say, trade cart? Nope. Wait, is he going through a trade workshop? Can you trade at a trade workshop? I mean, I know that sounds kind of intuitive, but still. It's Furious the Monkey Boy! It's Bassy! Imagine you just want to ride through the steps and slaughter enemy armies, but instead you run through cities to Soria and end up talking to an ape. Oh, Bassy. Bassy, Bassy, Bassy. <laughs> oh, man, that's funny. What the hell is that monkey doing here? <laughs> funny monkey. Feels bad, man. What is the life of the world but to play an amusement? But the best is the home and the hereafter and stuff. I have tamed the steer. It is a faithful companion. Oh, isn't that lovely? Oh yeah, I should put this on fast speed. You seem like you can. I can talk to you. No, it's just villagers. It's a horse. I love that Bassi uh, inserted himself as Furious the Monkey Boy. Oh, hey, have we talked to this guy yet? I am a talented archer, but in combat I prefer to use my little dagger. To be honest, I don't know why. Oh, feels villager, man. So I don't know why we can't just walk up to them. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, uh, in this campaign we're going to try playing without small trees on. So we have regular sized trees, because some people have been asking for that. Um, so we'll, we'll see if people like it. I'll do it for this campaign, it's uh, three scenarios I believe. And hopefully, uh, yeah, see what you guys think.
I don't understand those who prefer to live in tents. A fortified building like this tower is much more comfortable than a yurt. Hey man, to each their own. Uh, oh. It's over here. Beyond these gates is the territory governed by Tamerlane. He is said to be wise but cruel. Uh, we've had to build many siege workshops. I would really like to know what the Emir is up to. Me too, man. That's literally my job. It's over here. A horse? Several horses. And a spearman. Just, uh... Feeding the horses, I guess? Still don't know why we're a samurai. <laughs> see what these guys have to say. It may be that you dislike a thing which is good for you and that you like a thing which is bad for you. Alala knows, but you do not know that. How insightful. Dervish. On the seeker's path, wise men and fools are one. In his love, brothers and strangers are one. Go on, drink the wine of the beloved. In that faith, Muslims and pagans are one. That's great. What kinship? The Emir has commissioned us to cut as many trees as possible. I assume he needs the lumber to construct new siege equipment. I mean, literally everything is sounding mega sus. Outlaws are hiding in the woodland. Don't go there. That sounds like quitter talk. Okay, maybe I shouldn't go there. I have been known to make errors of judgment in the past. Actually, the fact that I'm a samurai is, uh, it, it is a little triggering, I'll be honest. I have memories of sending one villager to chop a tree for so long. Oh my god. So it looks like we have to go this way. Yeah, to be honest, I'm not really sure what the... Oh wait, I don't think I talked to you. The followers of Musa Taichud are Mongols, not Turks. Uh, he and his men are allegedly descendants of Genghis Khan. Well, I mean, so it's like, you know, one in eight people or something like that. But we do get to play with the new Tatars. Get all the sheep. Why would you have fish if you can eat the finest mutton instead? Um, I mean, I like fish and I like, I like lamb. I don't think I've ever had mutton. Hashan has commissioned me to construct this magnificent siege ram. Once it is completed, we will pull it through the streets so all subjects can see the military power of the Emir. I sent my assistant to gather more timber, but he didn't return. Please help me find him, or I won't be able to complete the ram. Oh. The will punish me. But. Oh, it's, see, it's not fully repaired. Okay, so I have to find the engineer's assistant. Oh, of course. Of course. Of frickin' course. Thankfully, we're not doing speedruns, so we can bump it up to times eight speed. What the? Where the hell did you guys come from? Okay. Where did you guys come from? I literally walked this way like three times or something. Uh, why did the random bandit start showing up? Oh, they even showed you. What? It's blinking. Um... What? They're Gaia. I'll just... Oh. <laughs> I'm not a rat. I'm a samurai. That's what you get. Did 
Don't mess with me, I'm a samurai. Don't ask me what I'm doing here in Transoxiana. Okay, can I avoid these archers? Don't mind me, just passing through. Just the samurai doing samurai things. Oh, hey, I found him. Quick, I have to get back to my master to help him with his important work. Yeah, 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 man. Okay. At least he has loom. Okay, I'm probably gonna have to kill all these guys. But thankfully, we regenerate and we have at least semi okay stats. Get him! I hope this side quest is worth it. Okay, as long as those random archers... Also, wait, we can see the archers through the fog of war since they're Gaia. I didn't know you could do that. Anyway, back to times 8 speed. Oh, that's right. Forgot about the bandits. Oh, hey, the... The dervish and the imam are healing us. Thanks, guys. Much better. I wonder if we get the sea dram later. Slip past those guys. Okay, can't flip past these guys. They do have uh, iron casting for whatever reason. Also, why aren't you guys doing anything about the bandits? They're literally street thugs. Okay. I am back, Master, and I have brought the needed lumber with me. We should be able to complete the construction of the sea dram now. The ram is complete. Let's show it to the inhabitants and the emir. Everyone shall see what a magnificent masterpiece we have constructed. Yay! Am I supposed to hide in this thing? I'm probably supposed to hide in it. I guess I never tried just approaching it. and Musha Tashia are in the garden behind the castle. I will sneak up on them. Sneak! I am glad I could convince you, Musa. As soon as our united armies attack, Timur will have no choice but to retreat. They don't see him just hanging Timur out? He's unaware. He will not be able to make any preparations. Our hordes will take his army by surprise, then crush it. The rumors are true. Zenda Hashab and Musa Tashia indeed aim to overthrow Timur. I have to warn him as quickly as possible. Get yourself a horse and leave Shabur Khan. So what I don't understand is that getting the, uh, the assistant guy was uh, an optional objective. But it seems like you're not able to progress through the scenario. 
Oh, wow, they have 50 HP now and also have Blast Furnace. Ooh, now you get to hear Dash bark when he plays Stick in even higher audio quality, Pog Champ. Has he disappeared? He's a magician. And also a monkey. A rather furious one. Uh, I can take one more. So I don't really know what the point of talking to all those people was. I mean, I just kind of did it. Anyway, I assume we can get a horse over here. Oh, boy. Um, I feel a lot less confident in taking you guys. I can always jump into the tower for super low. Why aren't you guys helping? You're like the city patrol or something. I said, here is your horse. Do not judge King Alfonso too harshly. Oh, wow, that actually worked. Ooh, now we're Kotian. One of Timur's outposts lies to the north. Hopefully, Timur himself is there, so I can okay. report on the conspiracy. Surrender! Okay, just... Oh, yeah, I forgot we're Tadars. The power of Tadars! Oh, wait. Why is he missing? We should be having free thumb ring. Yeah, we do. What? I guess maybe they're on defensive stance or something. There is stone we can mine there. I'm pretty sure we get a base eventually. Oh yeah, look at that high ground bonus. Mmm, two-shotting them. In case you don't remember, Tatars get plus 25% additional damage when fighting from higher ground. It's worded kind of weirdly, weirdly, because you normally get plus 25% damage, but Tatars actually get plus 50% damage. Oh. Oh, there are shallows here. And this is Tamerlane. Oryetu is also a samurai. A conspiracy? So the rumors are true. That's terrifying news. Unfortunately, Timur is not here, but on an expedition. Timur will return in a few days, however. But as long as he is absent, it is we who will have to organize the defense against the traitors. Okay, so Tamerlane is obviously taking orders, or uh, taking cues from Suwotai, and is 40 minutes away. Oh, we do have a town center. So let's just get ourselves oriented here. I don't know what that guy's doing. Uh, can we build additional town centers? Yes, we can. I will obey if Timur asks for allegiance. But I have to be sure that he's still alive and able to rule. For I have heard that he has been put to flight. Uh, Kai Kosro will join your side if Tamerlane pays a visit to him. Well, Tamerlane's not here right now. I'm sorry, Tamerlane is not here right now. Please leave a message after the beep. Anyway, looks like we can fish from the river. Wait, don't we have a dock? We do have a dock. So I don't, I don't know who controls Shabur Khan. I think Zinda Hashim is the, the actual guy in control of it. So I don't know if it's all belongs to, belonging to Red now. 
Uh, do we have a market? No, we do not. Just seeing the, uh... I don't want to block... Oh, yeah, see, we can't build here. This is probably where Tamerlane shows up. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, seeing the big trees just reminds me of, uh, when I was a kid. And two old tips were turned off. Thanks, DE. I don't know why it does that all the time. Wait a minute, why didn't I get my sheep? I built, I built my TC, where are my sheep? Is that not a thing in single player? Um. Okay, so it looks like we don't need to keep any of our heroes alive. Bash is very excited. Get a third TC. Whoa! Bandits! Bandits! Um, they're mostly shorefish, but I'll make a few fishing ships. But mostly I'll, I'll probably just end up using my villagers. Oh, whoops. Get them! Oh yeah, we have silk armor on these bad boys. Oh hey, back tree and camels. Burgaiman. Oh yeah, we have boar. Might, might as well take those guys. And we can also start taking the deer. What? No, don't freaking prepare. Oh yeah, let's also take these guys. Let the onslaught begin. Well, that honestly is not very promising. Uh, let's start making some cav archers. I mean, we are Tatars. We have a pop limit of only 100. Um, so it's just more bandits. Oh, here comes purple. Uh, they are in Castle Age. Red is in Imperial Age. Oh, yeah, let's get the other war. I mean, our starting army will be sufficient for right now, but we're going to need to get uh, a better one soon. Or rather, more of them. Oh, yeah, do we have a university... It's a nomad camp, of course. We don't have a university. <laughs> what am I thinking? Don't have a lot of space. Oh, oh, we made we made a boo boo there. Oh, that that's purple. Thought that was me. Okay, at least they don't have Imperial Age technologies. We can also go for some Keshigs. Cav Archer Keshig is pretty sick, obviously.
Oh yeah, we can't build castles until Tamerlane gets here. Poke him! Poked. You also don't have a stable. Okay, the university I don't understand, but come on. It's Camp of Tamerlane, we don't have a stable. Need a lot more farmers. I assume we can't build like stone walls. Never mind. Never mind that idea. It is a defense scenario. Yep, let's get those guys. Need more cav archers. Also get ballistics. Also, we should fall the left. Um, well, rip old yet to. Yeah, he was just a samurai. Don't have that many units left. I also still don't have a stable. I'd like to get husbandry. Salam. Ooh, I guess Tamerlane comes from this way, too. I can't build farms there. Okay, so they do have better upgrades now. Unfortunately, I don't benefit from uh, blacksmith upgrades on uh, Khwaja Yusuf. Oh. Probably lost my bills over here. That is fine. Honestly, make another fishing ship, because why not? And get gill nets, because why not? Man, I really liked Adars. Even before the buff, they were probably my favorite of the, the last con civs. And I do feel like their current cheap bonus is probably a little too strong. I would personally think a good solution is uh, removing the extra ones you get in Feudal Age. Because currently you get uh, two cheap for free upon reaching Feudal Age, which is kind of... When your sheep already last longer, that's kind of a lot. At least I'mo. Oh. Can wall over here. Got fortified wall. As there are only two civs that use the Central Asian architecture set. And humans don't even get stone walls, let alone fortified walls. How did you get here? Oh wait, you wandered in earlier, I remember. Stop it, you. Anyway, I know we can't build castles yet, but I assume we will at some point, as in when Tamerlane arrives. So yeah, Cav Archers and Keshiks will be the name of the game. Uh, chilling, I guess. This appeals to my boomer sensibility. Jerks. Okay, so we're gonna need to get over here and take this gold because we're running low. But that will be tricky. 
because it's going to be much harder to defend. Wait, what? They're in Castle Age. How did... It's like they have, uh, sorry, Padded Archer armor and then somehow Parthian Tactics, which is actually not remotely impossible, but except that Parthian Tactics is an imp attack. Also, I should make a uh, Light Cavern too, just for some scouting. Need more gold income. Just see what's over this way. These guys are allied to us, yeah. Even if they're not joining us, they can at least be our ally for the time being. Bandits! Oh wait, there's more gold over here. Even more gold! Anyway, Tamerlane will be here in 15 minutes. I'm gonna send out some random light cav. Oi! Oi! What you doing there? I'm, I'm over boomed anyway. Okay, so purple's hanging out over here in a very fortified camp. You guys can just defend over there. These guys will defend over here. I mean, the map isn't too big. I assume once Tamerlane shows up, we're going to wreak our righteous vengeance upon... Uh, Musa Taichut and Zinda Hashan. I assume Zinda's over in um, Shabur Khan. Yeah, yeah, it's all it's all gone red, man. Oh yeah, let's see what uh, the Kut. Kutalani are up to. I know my pronunciation of uh, all of these names is absolutely spot on. Nothing over here. Just random sheep. But yeah, I, I don't know why we didn't get our extra sheep when we made the extra town centers. Our high ground bonus, man. Also, five pierce armor. Locked gate. Yeah, to be honest, there doesn't really seem to be a whole lot to do right now. It is, I guess, just the first scenario in the campaign, so it's probably not supposed to be all that difficult. Just bump it up to times four speed, since there's really not a whole lot for us to do right now. I mean, they'll attack us every so often, but not with the greatest upgrades or numbers. One unit? Two units? Lost two units and all that? Do I have a monastery? No. Let's build a let's build a monk or two. Heal everyone on up. Get that, why not? Just until Tamerlane arrives. Taking most of the gold on the map anyway. And remember, we can't build siege workshops or anything like that. At least I'm pretty sure we can't. Yeah, no siege workshops. No imp for trebuchets. At least not yet. Uh, there's a lot of stone we can mine. 
Especially considering we can't do a whole lot with it. But yeah, I mean, if we're getting 150 pop limit and access to Siege Workshops in Imperial Age once Tamerlane arrives, we have so many resources, we're just going to absolutely steamroll through them. More Corgi barking. Oh, rip these guys. Maybe not? Oh, my mom's probably home. It's very exciting being a Corgi. I don't know, let's get that. But yeah, definitely let me know in the comments what you guys think of large trees. I'm going to use them for the rest of this uh, custom campaign, like, regardless. Tamerlane and oh. his men have arrived! No one betrays me without regretting it bitterly. What about Sweet Bee? Ah, there it is. Tamerlane must survive, so, um... Oh yeah, Tamerlane has to uh, actually visit him. Other than that, you will spend a lovely time in your castle. Please get some other. Ca Let's get a, 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 another castle over here. Also, we need more houses. Also, need. Look, it is Timur himself approaching our city. Open the gates immediately. Open the gates. Hey guys. Mama, you are alive, Timur. Now that my doubts have been dispelled, I will prepare my armies to lay siege on your enemy. Yeah. Seems good. To be honest, we're probably fine as is, but still. Uh, army doesn't really cost a lot of food. We can just chop more wood. Yeah, now, now go your, enjoy yourself a nice stay in your castle. Because we're extra boring. Uh, these guys... No, these guys are always Imperial Age. Uh, purple, I think... Oh, uh, yeah, 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 they just advanced. Alrighty, let's get all the upgrades. Wait, where are you guys going? Get another castle. A couple trebs queued up. Get timbered siege craft queued up. Now let's just get the rest of the blacksmith techs queued up. I mean, we have been waiting around for quite a while. Let's lay siege. And we just have to defeat them? Yep. Oh yeah, um... Oh, we can also go for Bombard Towers. That's probably overkill. Siege Ram! Oh yeah, I forgot Heavy Cap Archer. Also, we can take this gold. Feels bad about the city, man. All the nice peasants and stuff we talked to. And now it's time for them to die. But such is the way of the step. Or something. You know what, screw it. I love Bombard Towers.
Now we have we can make flaming camels. Yeah, this is pretty easy. Oh no, bandits! build another castle over here. Okay, that's gonna do just fine. And then we're gonna start creeping forward with Bombard Towers as we begin to push purple. Nineteen range trebs, man. Longest range of any non-cheat unit in the game. Uh, remember when we got our horse over here? Yeah, I mean, that is actually a lot of elite hip shots. Onagers as well. Okay, they're starting to put up a little bit more of a defense. But I fear that we have been booming away for far too long. I feel like it, everyone always forgets that uh, Totters get Bombard Tower. I mean, like... I guess it's kind of weird for, you know, a step nomad civ to get cav archers, but Tatars are definitely like, uh, you know, the late game oriented one. I guess not necessarily late game, but like defensively oriented one. The Mongols are like the late game one. Yay, bombard towers! Oh, he's already got Trebs there. Oh, whoops. Oh, yeah, let's get all these guys over. Uh, this should, should just be the one castle. I always wondered, like, because we have Dark Age buildings next to Castle Age buildings, but, yeah, bandits are in Dark Age, so all the Dark Age buildings likely belong to bandits, and just in the second one were transferred over to, uh, Ray. Not my Bombard Towers! Man, Red is getting annihilated. Oh, I wonder if one of these is the sea drams that or the sea dram that we helped build. It's a... How does he have plus four plus four? Humans don't get bracer. Much less recurve bow. Okay, let's snipe these things. Alright. Locked my army, my city, and my will to fight all is lost. Very sad. Unless you're us. Then everything is awesome. Alright, on to purple. Wait, can they get out this way? No, they can't. Why are they trying to go that way? <laughs> I want more Bombard Towers. I mean, we're losing a few units here and there, but they can be replaced. Uh, 
That thing popped off. And your army's just slow as heck, man. I mean, I, I did have seed rams as part, so it's completely my fault. But still! How did you guys get peeps as Mongols, man? Mega cheaters? should be falling pretty much as easily. Oh, hey, I forgot about you guys. Are you guys an imp? No, they're not even an imp. You're barely going to be of assistance. I guess I'm running low on gold. But I kind of have a gigantic army. Don't ru What? Wait. 8 plus 5, 6, 7 armor? It's like they have recurve bow and silk armor. Yeah, that's it. They have recurve bow and silk armor, I think. And ring archer armor. That is pretty OP, to be fair. Sure, man. After Musa Taichud had surrendered, Zinda Hasham capitulated fairly rapidly and begged for mercy. Tamur could not yet afford to deal harshly with such a powerful emir as Zinda Hasham, therefore he forgave him and reconfirmed his position. The spared emir, however, was anything but subservient and did not take him long to find a new ally with whom to conspire against Tamur. Oh, Zinda. That's a pretty good KD. Yeah, to be honest, that scenario was really easy. I guess they did collect some sort of resource. Yeah, I'm not too sure what the point of this whole thing was. Like, with the, the talking to the people and the quests and all that. Like, I, I don't know what purpose that served. by me doing any of that. Like, I I guess I needed... But it, it says I did not need to go get the engineer's assistant, but I don't know how else we would have gotten past this locked gate. But I, then I don't know why I was also talking to all those random people. Uh, but maybe, I don't know, if thing, I did something out of order or something like that. Uh, but regardless, it was still a cool scenario, even if it was easy. And, uh, yeah. That will be it for Snakes in the Grass. And uh, coming up next time will be Holy War. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all next time.